Well, first of all, we're not Africans. And first of all, this is not a Christianity book. The so-called white man, he stole our book and he gave us this. Exhort servants to be obedient to their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again. You were bought with a price. Do not become slaves of men. He that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost have never forgiveness. What is in danger. Beware of false prophets who come dressed in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening what? Christianity. Right. Nowhere in the Bible did God give us Christianity. Right. He didn't give us Baptist, Pentecostal. Right. Those are given by our slave masters. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments to keep. Because we broke the God's commandments, He's the one who gave us to our enemies. How you doing, my brother? How you doing, sir? What's your name, sir? Hilbert. 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 So how you doing, Hilbert? What's your nationality, Hilbert? Come over, Hilbert. Hilbert, check this. Check this sign right here. African American. So when you check this sign right here, you're not an African American. You're from the tribe of Judah, Hilbert. You're the greatest thing to ever walk the face of the earth. We're showing you, according to the Bible, why we're in the condition that we're in as a nation of people. So read that. Read that again, officer. So the common ways mainly employed by the Spaniards uh -huh. who call themselves Christian. The Spaniards who call themselves Christian because Hilbert, what's, what's the major number one religion of our people today? The Christian, Christianity, our people are Christian, uh, Catholics, Baptists, Pentecostal. We learn all those uh, denominations from the same people who did all this to us. Who enslaved us so now we're, we're going into that history of the same people who did that to us what they did to our so-called hispanic brothers and sisters read on but yeah i'm gonna ask you a question sir. and who have gone there to experts ex, extirpate those pitiful nations and wipe them off the earth do what wipe them off the earth the spaniards they wiped our people off the earth they killed over a hundred million of our people on this side of the earth that holiday our people are about to celebrate in a few weeks called Thanksgiving. Where did that holiday come from? We're reading the history right now. They're giving thanks so to what? They're thanking their ancestors for committing genocide against our people. Stealing their natural resources. Stealing their gold. Stealing their silver. St mining all their natural resources. They're giving thanks to their forefathers to, for what they did to our ancestors. And we're reading that history right now. You celebrate Thanksgiving, Hilbert? You celebrate Thanksgiving? What about you, Carlos? You celebrate Thanksgiving? What about you, my brother? Good. I don't celebrate any after Halloween. Good. Stay that way. But we're going to go into that history where that Thanksgiving tradition came from, Carlos. I want you to pay attention, Carlos. And Hilbert, Hilbert, we're going into that history right now. You got to pay attention, Hilbert. Check this out. It said, and wipe them off the earth is by unjustly waging cruel and bloody wars. Wait, say cruel and bloody wars. Read on. Then, when they have slain all those who fought for their lives or to escape the tortures uh -huh. they would have to endure, that is to say, when they have slain all the native rulers and young men, they enslave any survivors. Uh -huh. With these infernal methods of tyranny, they debase the weak and countless numbers of those pitiful Indian nations. Their reason for killing and destroying such an infinite number of souls... So they kill so many people, you can't even kill, keep count. That's why they said an infinite number of souls in the hundreds, over a hundred million souls. And our people are getting ready to sit at the dinner table right. and commemorate that day. The genocide of their own people. Read on. And have an ultimate, or said, the reason for killing and destroying such an infinite number of souls uh -huh. is that the Christians have an ultimate aim, which is to acquire gold. I do what? Acquire gold. Uh -huh. And to swell themselves with riches in a very brief time and thus rise to a high estate disproportionate to their merits. So you remember, they, the whole purpose was to acquire gold, natural resources. Let's read that again. Deuteronomy 20, verse 33. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Reese. Reese. So, Reese, you celebrate Thanksgiving? Why not? Because we're going, see that? That's all the genocide of our people. And we're going to go now. It says the Christians, their whole purpose was to acquire gold, still natural resources. So now let's read that again. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 33. And what we're going into, Reese, we're going into why our people are in the condition we are in today. 
we're in the condition that we're in today because we broke God's commandments. God gave us law, statutes, and commandments to keep. If we keep his commandments, we're going to be ruling over all nations of the earth. But if we break God's commandments, curses are going to come upon us. Now, I'm going to read that one curse. I'm going to get to your question, brother. Read that from Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 33. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of thy land. We read that earlier. The gold. The Christians, the conquistadors, they came to this side of the world. And their whole purpose was to steal the fruit of our land. Our gold and our natural resources so they can get rich and benefit it off of themselves. So it says the fruit of their land. In all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not. A nation which thou knowest not. Those are those Christians. Those Spaniards. Read on. Eat up. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. You're be always oppressed and crushed always. When we look at our people in Puerto Rico, oppressed and crushed. Haiti, Dominican Republic, oppressed and always crushed. Riviera Beach, same condition that we always see our people. And Brother Reese, I want you to look at this sign right here. Where do you see yourself on this sign right here? So-called African-American, Jamaican, Haitian, Dominican. What's your nationality? So, Judah. Judah. Yeah. so your father your father's from Americas, right? right? So you'll be from the tribe of Judah. That's your that's your biblical name. American black, African American, that's two white men. Right. Leo Skipio Africanas and America Vespucci. We're showing our brothers here that we're not these bywords that these other nations put on us. Right. You are the chosen people of God. Right? right? So give me verse 68 now. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee. Into Egypt again. So, who's familiar with Bible history? Anybody familiar with Bible history? You know some? So when Moses went to Pharaoh and he told Pharaoh, let my people go. Why did he have to say that to Pharaoh? God told him to let him go. Why? Why did he say let my people go? Why? But what was the condition oh, of his first, people? Oh, oh, what was the condition? Yes, sir. Like what you mean? Like, like what were the Israelites doing in Egypt? They were slaves. They were slaves. So Moses said, you're going to go back into Egypt again. Why did he say it? What was Egypt synonymous for? What were our people thinking when he said Egypt? Do you know how our people, our people speak in slang, right, today? Words, words have different meanings. It's no different in the Bible. So Moses told the people, you're going to go back into Egypt again. What were our people thinking? Yes. Slaves. So we're going to get that. Read that from. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You're on point. Egypt is synonymous for slavery, bondage, captivity. Right. So Moses says you're going to go back into slavery again. But what, which mode of transportation? Let's see that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ships. With, with ships. So my brother right here, how did our people get to this side of the world? Ships. On ships. What about you? So our people got here on ships. Yeah. And what about you, my brother? How did our people get to this side of the world? Uh, on ships, right? Yeah. What kind of ships, though? Was it um, carnival ships, oh. Royal Caribbean, slave, slave ships? ships. Right. So when Moses oh. says, you're going to go back into Egypt again with ships, He's talking about cargo slave ships. How our people are stacked on top of each other in cargo slave ships. And what was happening on these ships? We were defecating on each other, pissing on each other. Right. Our women were giving birth, menstrual cycles. And if you're at the bottom of the ship, where do you think all that fell? All that fell on top of you. Yeah. And, I, and Carlos, I don't, want, I don't want you to think that this just happened to the so-called African-Americans, Jamaicans, and Haitians. That happened to our so-called Hispanic brothers and sisters first in 1492. Because right. the conquistadors, they enslaved our people first. And they killed so many. Hey, Brother Reese, Brother Reese, we're going into your history. It's showing you who you are in the Bible, Brother Reese. So, uh, read, that last part, read that part again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, I want you to understand, Carlos. Before the transatlantic slave trade started, we were brought from the west coast of Africa. And taking this side of the world, because the conquistadors used the Taino people first as slaves. They wiped them out in the millions. And when they wiped out our people in Dominican Republic, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, 
They would take our people from South America, put them on ships, and they would transport them to the Caribbean in order to replace the millions that they killed throughout the Caribbean. So I don't want you to think that it just happened to your so-called blacks here in America. It happened with your people too, the Northern Kingdom tribes as well. So I'm showing you that we are. We think that we're different people because we look different. We may speak different languages, but I'm showing you that our history is the same. We're all the same people. Read that part again. I'm gonna get to your question. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there uh -huh. ye shall be sold unto your enemies. It says in there, once you got off those slave ships, Carlos, you're gonna be sold unto your enemies. On what? Auction slave blocks. Right. Read on. For bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. No one buy means no one's gonna redeem us out of this condition. We had many great men who rose up to power, who tried to save us out of this condition. Cause we had, remember we had the brown berets, right. the young lords at one point in time. Right. They're about positive, positive actions in their community before they were corrupted. Right. You had Martin Luther King. You had a, a Marcus Garvey, MLK. You had the Black Panthers. You had many organizations that rose up to try to save our people out of this condition, but they all failed. Why? Because we're all suffering the curses of God. The only way you can be able to get out of these curses is by what? Repenting as the Israelites, as an as a Ephraimite, as a Judite, and keeping God's commandments. God's commandments is the only thing that's going to get us out of this condition. You got a question, my brother. Go ahead. Where's that book from? I'm gonna show you. Give me first. Give me um, Psalm 68 and 11. I'm gonna show you where it's from. Cause who wrote who wrote Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy? Who wrote those books? That that came from Moses. That came from Moses. Yeah. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Read that from Psalm chapter 68 and verse 11. Uh -huh. The Lord gave the word. Uh -huh. Great was the company of those that published it. It says the Lord gave the word, but great was the company of those that published it. So when you read up the books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet of the nation of Israel. Jeremiah, Matthew, Mark. We have Luke, the Gospels. Those are written by our ancestors. Well, first of all, we're not Africans. And first of all, this is not a Christianity yes, book. Sorry. The so-called white man, he stole our book and he gave us this, Christianity. Right. Nowhere in the Bible did God give us Christianity. Right. He didn't give us Baptist, Pentecostal. Right. Those are given by our slave masters. Yes. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments to keep. Because we broke the God's commandments, he's the one who gave us to our enemies. First people, the Israelites. Yes. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, us, we're the first one to put this to action. Right. But again, what the evidence you're giving me is what that book says. I want to know how Israelites came into a ball based on what other than that book. So, our Israelites came to a ball? We are from Abraham, Isaac, and our forefather, Jacob. He's our forefather, the, forefather, the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we came from. So let me ask you this question. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said our free people, right? Again, is our our, our people free today? We just went we just went through the history. So, so if we're not free, why are you saying our free people if we're not free? So none of that resemble that, right? So when we look at when we look at a nation, how does a nation govern itself? Bring it out. So how does a nation govern itself? Most nations say they govern itself by religious principles. So so whatever nation you believe that you're from, how does it govern itself? Yes. I'm asking you a simple question. How does a government? How does a nation govern itself? Yeah. 
I'm not talking about religion. You need laws, statutes, and commandments. And that's what the Bible is about. That's what God gave us, laws, statutes, and commandments. And what we're going over is the reason why we're in the condition that we're in today is because we broke God's laws. Yes, we did. The Israelites did. Yes, we did. We always had laws, statutes, and commandments to rule ourselves. Get that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Actually, give me Ecclesiastes 12. Ecclesiastes 12. Yeah. Well, if you don't believe in the book, that's on you. But we're showing our people the solutions for us to fix the condition in our community that's is what right. lies in this book. Right. If you don't want to believe that, that's on you. And we look at Africa today, where are they pushing today? They're pushing homosexuality. Oh, They're pushing murder. Freedom. They're preaching the worship of this man today. Right. We're showing that all the, the only thing that's going to get us out of this condition is we turn it back to our heritage, which is in this book. I'm going to show you. Give, I'm going to show you the history that we just went. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Yes, we're telling you out of the book because we're not going to give you our own words. Everything that we're saying is going to be according to the law, statutes of God. Oh, yeah. This is the scholarly evidence right here. The scholar right here we're giving you is Moses. Check this out. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, my brother, did this happen? Did this history happen, Carlos? Did our people go into slavery on ships? Oh, so that's, that's strike one against that. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, they shall see, thou shalt see it no more again. And Carlos, since our people went into slavery, have we seen our homeland again? Have we seen Africa again? No. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you. So did all this history come to pass? So that's showing you, we're showing you the scholarly work right here. And we're showing you that prophecy that happened right there. So this is the evidence right here. So now, Carlos, I have a question for you. We're in this condition because we broke God's commandments, correct? So what is the solution? If we got 100%, repent of what? And what was that? We broke God's what? We broke God's commandments. So now let's go into that, Carlos. We're going to show you the commandments that we have to keep. So read that for him. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. The reason why we're in the condition that we're in as a nation of people is because we're not keeping God's commandments. Right. So now let's go and give me a commandment. Is there more that? Yeah, read that and give me a commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. Uh -huh. So now this is the whole duty of man. We have to keep God's laws. Nation is men leading by example.